All right, everybody, Sylvia here, and I am in Portland. I'm gonna be here for a few months, and it feels great to be settled for a little bit. My trailer is here at my friend Paul's house, and he has, he and his wife Bev have graciously allowed me to keep my trailer here while I am living at my friend Mitzi's house. It feels wonderful to be in, in a stable address and uh, a comfortable home. Um, while I am here, I have been taking care of all kinds of things on my trailer, and today I wanna to show you some of the things that I have done and some of the things I plan on doing. And um, Paul and Edna and Dave have just been a huge help to me with these projects. So yeah, let's take a look. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, you guys, so yeah, I've had my trailer for just about 20 months. It's a Northwood Nash 17K. I think it's the smallest trailer that they make. It's really made for single people. There's no slide. And because it's a smaller trailer, one of the bigger issues that I've been having with it is storage, particularly undercarriage storage. And so I've been looking for solutions to this issue, particularly with um, all the stuff that I need for emptying the gray, the black water tanks, you know, these hoses are big and bulky and all the stuff that you need. And I kind of wanted to have a way to keep it in one place and um, ideally outside of the internal storage. So let me show you what my friend Paul came up with, helped me install. We did a trip to Harbor Freight and got the parts and uh, I picked up this box and he helped me attach it to the rear bumper. So I don't know if you can see, but it's just, just a couple of brackets down here and it's very, very stable. And of course, you know, I have everything that I need to dump the tanks in here. So it's not very heavy, but it's very bulky. So I've got the long hose, the short hose, lots of gloves and then extra parts that you need at different RV parks. And then here's the accordion thing to keep the hoses, you know, so that it's gravity fed from the RV to the sewer line. And then um, just close it up and I've got a carabiner just like that. And I'm just super, super thrilled and you know it's it's so much fun to have friends like paul because like he just knows how to do all this stuff you know sometimes i come up with ideas and i express you know i'm like wow what do you think about this idea and he just sort of looks at me like well hmm yeah let's uh let's look at some other ideas too and he's helped me with other things too so let's take a look inside So I've had this trailer, like I said, for about 20 months and you know, there's some wear and tear. Um, this side covering um, for the countertop was starting to come apart and Paul knew that this side piece actually has a tongue with some spikes in it so that it will adhere to a groove that's inside the particle board of the countertop. And so he took this off, cleaned it out, and then used wood glue. And now he's clamping the countertop, or, you know, so that those spikes are gonna adhere to the particle board again. Um, so we're gonna give that just a little time to cure, and then um, it should be just like new. And then I've had a real issue with the shade, one shade in particular. So these are pleated shades. And for the most part, I really, I really like them. Uh, they give privacy, but they also give light. Uh, they move up and down very easily. Uh, they seem to be lasting, have some quality to them. There's only one place that it hasn't been great, and that is over the bed. And very recently, one of the strings broke 
on the one over the bed. So it gave me an opportunity to looking at maybe a different idea for that window. And there's a few considerations for a shade with this particular window because this is my bed. And so at night, my head is next to the window. And so I don't really want to have the shade open. With this particular shade, if I want to open the window, I have to lift the shade um, and open the window and I have to leave it open for airflow. And so I just was like, you know, this is, this just isn't really ideal for me. And then the other issue is because I've got my pillows next to that shade in the morning, you know, the accordion is, is always disfigured. And the only way that I can fix it, just slowly accordion it up and then, you know, push it, push it back into uh, shape. Um, and you know, this was a, uh, something that I had to do every, every morning. Um, and it may be the thing that contributed to that string breaking and maybe this sh particular shade not lasting as long. And so I was, you know, really looking for something to uh, help me with a lot of different issues with this one particular small shade. The other thing is, this is more for RV parks and campgrounds. You know, at night, you know, people are driving around and a lot of times you've got really strong truck lights coming right into your window. And so I was kind of looking for something to give me a little bit more shade, but I wanted to have access to the window and more airflow. And so what I did is I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. I got a friend of mine had coupons. You always have to have coupons when you go to Bed Bath & Beyond. And we found these curtains that were like $11 and it wasn't perfect. With the help of my friend Edna, who is very crafty, we have made it work and I'm kind of excited about what we did. Um, so when I bought these curtains, you know, they said they were like 54 by 35, which is too long. And I figured you know, it's, this window is 35 inches wide. So I thought, oh, that's going to be great. All I need to do is hem the bottom um, and it'll be, it'll be perfect. But I opened the package and it's, you know, like regular curtains. There's two parts, uh, you know, the left and the right. And so my friend Edna, so we decided what we would do is take the two curtains and overlap them. So I've got a, a tension rod up here and Paul actually put an end cap, screwed in an end cap so that this tension rod won't move when I'm driving. And so we've got it like double, doubled up. Uh, so this part is shaded more and then I still got some light coming in. Um, but what's really nice is when I want to open the window I you know I can just open it here and then on this side I can just keep it you know keep it open like this and I'm gonna have airflow and I won't feel so vulnerable and exposed when I'm lying in bed so yeah so this is like a lot of stuff and the other thing that I did is I bought a new bed Oh my gosh, these RVs are notorious for having really uncomfortable beds. And when I bought this trailer, everything happened so quickly. I really didn't have time to research beds and figure out what I wanted. And so um, I did a lot of the shopping for the trailer at Ikea. And one of the things I did is I bought a topper and the topper worked really well. It was a great idea, um, but um, the thing is the topper was it was sliding like on the top and I always had to move it back and so <laughs> and so um, I you know since then I've had a chance to research beds and I picked up a Nova form from Costco I think it was like five hundred dollars and you know these beds today they're so funny they come vacuum packed and they're rolled up into a box and they're quite heavy 
and you have to un unroll them and then let them sit to you know get their form um, but I think this is going to be a really comfortable bed and I bought new bedding and so I'm just really um, feeling like this is super super fun and um, I've got a couple couple more things like I want to put a shelf where the TV usually goes I don't have a TV and I don't really want one and I feel like you know I, I feel like there's um, a place to put um, a shelf uh, because this area here, I've taken a, most of the stuff that's in here and brought it to the house, but it kind of became like my junk drawer, and I'm looking for uh, to separate some of this stuff from this junk area and putting it on a shelf. So, yeah, so that's some of the stuff that I've uh, been working on. I got that great box on the back bumper for all my sewer stuff getting to the dump it's going to be so much easier now and i'm going to have a lot more room in my trailer storage area and then here i've got you know paul helping me fix it figure out how to make my countertop so much nicer and then edna helped me with the sewing on these curtains i think this is just going to help me so much and of course having a new bed is really really comfortable sure I'm going to have some more projects, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to so far. Oh, so much fun to be back and to be with all my friends. And of course, I, you know, they, I couldn't do any of this stuff without them. They helped me so much. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing from everybody. And uh, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.